an eight-year-old Indianapolis boy is being treated now after getting shot. His injuries are not believed to be life-threatening, but police are looking for the shooter right now. This happened at West 30th Street in Elmira at a used appliance store, and our Crime Beat reporter Steve Jefferson is there live now following the investigation. Steve? Going right down, Jenny. Police tell us that that boy was shot in the arm and the bullet came out the other side. Again, it happened at the appliance store you see behind me. Detectives are still here on West 30th Street. Metro officers arrived here after a 911 call about the shooting and immediately called for paramedics. Now, they took the boy, the paramedics took the boy to Raleigh Hospital where uh, he immediately was taken to the emergency room where doctors attended to his wounds. Uh, when officers started asking questions about what happened, initially they were getting several stories about what led to the shooting. So they have been working the last couple of hours trying to sort those, those stories out. The eight-year-old was with family at the used appliance store when he was shot, including another child standing next to him. Now, this is the same neighborhood of last week's quadruple murder. Uh, word got out to those family and friends as they wrapped up a funeral just Few, a few blocks away of a mother and son that was killed in the quadruple mur murders just down the street. That's when uh, it was uh, told us that someone had just been shot and Chief Hike was rushing out, uh, I think, to come down here and so were the, the chaplains were rushing too. So we need the neighbors to begin to, to help us by helping to identify these individuals so we can get them off the street. You know who's doing this. You know who's involved. You know out, who's out here selling these drugs, who's carrying these guns, who's involved in criminal activity. We need y'all to help us get these people off the street so that we can stop this madness. People living nearby had hoped after last week's quadruple murders, followed by several shootings, that the gun violence in their neighborhood would subside. You'll hear more from them coming up on Eyewitness News at 6. In the meantime, if you have any information about this shooting, police, they're not turning away uh, any clues that could help in this case. You can call Crime Stoppers. That telephone number is 262-TIPS. Live on the Crime Beat, Steve Jefferson, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. Certainly a difficult time in that neighborhood. Steve, thanks for the live report.